Hello everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm Kat. I'm a wife, a homeschool mom, and an avid reader. For those who have been here before, welcome back. It is September 2nd, um, and I am just having a chill day today. Um, I don't have a lot planned. I am going to read some. I just haven't decided what I'm going to read yet. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards starting Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman because I have the audio for that and that will allow me to set up my bullet journal for this month, for this week and month, the upcoming month, um, or the month and the upcoming week. Also, it will allow me to get caught up on my genre blanket. I have almost all of July or August to crochet um, and that will allow me to do my wrap up um, this weekend as well. We start school on Tuesday or we start co-op on Tuesday and so... Things are a little um, unknown going forward on how my energy is going to be and all of that. So I'm going to try really hard each weekend to put together my videos so that they can go out on Tuesday and Thursday still. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I might not have done what I needed to write this week, um, to make that work, but I'm going to try. That's my goal anyway. Um, yeah, so, um, I think I'm going to go on ahead and start Neverwhere, uh, now that I kind of out loud said my reasoning for starting it. Um, so Neverwhere is Neil Gaiman, um, and this month, again, if you didn't watch my TBR, um, my younger sister Lauren picked out all of my titles for this month, um, with the exception of some book club picks. So, I'm gonna get started on my bullet journal, and then I will, um, go from there. Talk to you soon. Hello everyone. So I am about halfway through Neverwhere. Um, I'm having a little bit of an odd relationship with this book. So I think I am at the moment in my life where for audiobooks I'm gonna have to have the physical book as well um because I keep zoning out um and it's just my brain is going so fast right now into everything that I'm missing very important plot points like I said I'm halfway through the book um it's um Richard Donahue is our main character um and he it is Donahue isn't it see now I'm having um Richard Mayhew is our main character um and he lives a very complacent life um he and his girlfriend jessica have been together for years and basically she's just like oh we've been together for a while we should get engaged and he's like okay and then you know so they get engaged and then like they were engaged for 18 months before things really start happening in the book. Um, 
But yeah, he just doesn't seem to care about much. Um, he lets life kind of slip by him, almost. And then one day, he and Jessica are on their way to a dinner date with her boss, with Jessica's boss. And on their way, he finds this girl um, bleeding. And, like, Jessica just, like, walks past her, doesn't even notice her. But uh, Richard does, and he's like, no, I have to help her, you know. And Jessica's like, oh, well, then just call an ambulance. Let's go. This dinner is important. Um, and it just, it continues on from there, but it's like the first time almost in his life that he's kind of taken a stand. What he doesn't realize is him taking the stand changes the entire, um, projection of his life. He wakes up the next morning after helping Dor, um, and he goes to work and, like, they're moving his desk and they don't know who he is. And then he, he goes home and like his landlord is showing his property to to um showing his flat to someone else um and so it's just this really quirky part and so now he has to go and find door to try to get his life back on track and it seems that that's kind of where like he's at a point where he's finding out what he has to do for this um, and then what his uh, quote unquote quest is to return his life back to normal. Um, but there's a lot of other parts in it. Um, we keep getting these memories and I have no idea where those memories are coming from, how they're, um, happening. Um, or what's triggering them or what their importance is. And so that's the kind of thing that I, I feel like I have missed on what's going on there. Um, so I'm going to keep going, um, with this one and I, I actually have on, um, I have requested from the library the ebook. I'm just waiting for it to become available. Um, cause I am, I, I'm struggling a little bit. So, um, yeah, I may put this one on pause. And that's the part I'm struggling with the most is I'm enjoying the story when I know what's going on. Um, Neil Gaiman has this voice that kind of lulls my brain um, into not paying attention to the story. And I think that was the same problem I had with Stardust when I read that one. That one was also narrated by Neil Gaiman. So I'm going to grab the audio or the ebook um, and probably actually start this one over so that I truly know what's going on. But that's kind of my update for now. I'm going to grab my kid. She's playing Foursquare right now um, at youth group. So I'm going to grab her and then go home and eat and figure out what to do next. I'll check in soon. Hello, everyone. So it is Tuesday night. Um, I think I read a total of like three pages yesterday. No, I did read 
two chapters of Red Sister. Um, and then today we had, um, we had school, our first day, had a lot of fun. Um, I'm really excited for this year. Um, I've got a good group of kiddos, um, and it was just nice. Um, so this group of kiddos, um, I, I, I'm excited for. But also while I was at school today, I got the notice from the library that Neverwhere, the ebook, was ready. So I have checked that out and I am going to um, sit here in bed. I gotta ice my arm from my allergy shots today. Um, and so I'm gonna lay here with my headphones on listening to that while well, following along in my ebook. Um, and I'm also going to drink some water. Um, I hurt from my shoulders to my ankles. Um, part of that is probably my magnesium's a little low. Um, because I've only been taking my multivitamin. I haven't been taking my magnesium powder. Um, so my magnesium's probably a little low. But it's also been a long day. So, uh... Whew. I'm going to enjoy this kind of downtime um, and take the next mm, probably about 40 minutes and read um, and then go to bed. Um, so, I'm going to jump into Neverwhere and I will check in probably tomorrow. Hello everyone, it is Wednesday 2.30. We are getting ready to head to the barn. Um, it, oh, it is so hot. Um, my car says it's 102, uh, which is 32 degrees Celsius. Um, so it's hot, we're gonna drive to the barn and go from there. Um, and hopefully I'll get some reading done. We'll see how it goes. Good morning, everyone. It is, oh, and just after 9 o'clock on Saturday. Um, updating has been kind of sporadic with school starting. I haven't quite gotten into a rhythm yet. Um, my plan today is to continue reading Neverwhere. Um... I am over halfway through it. I've kind of figured out a little bit about what's going on. Um, I think when I was listening to the audiobook the first time that my phone kept playing the audio even though I had unplugged it from my car um, because there was like a huge amount like from 30 to 50 percent almost that I didn't remember, um, which is kind of unusual. Like normally I'll remember bits and pieces, but I am enjoying this one. It's kind of this tale of what happens when you fall through the cracks. Um, so our main character, Richard, he's kind of just lived life getting through each day. Ooh. Sorry, coffee has not kicked in yet. Um, he lives his life each day trying to get, just almost do the bare minimum of life. And he and his fiance are on their way to an important dinner for his fiance. And they come across this injured girl his fiance doesn't even notice her at first just keeps going and Richard sees her and leaves his fiance to do her dinner on her own um 
while he helps this girl. And then he falls through the cracks of our world into under London. And he's helping out the girl who he found. Um, but he's also trying to find his way back to the overworld. Uh, oh, coffee. And so it's, it's an adventure tale and I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, my little sister was worried. She's like, I feel like I may have picked the wrong books for you. Um, and I think honestly, I just haven't had a lot of time or mind to space to devote to this book. Um, partially because I am enjoying it, the audio, but I'm having to have the book as well. So my plan this morning is to drink my coffee, get some reading done, um, and go from there. Um, the other thing that's kind of keeping me is, you know, we've started school, but we have also, or I have also been watching Grey's Anatomy, um, quite a bit lately. Uh, the old, old ones. Uh, I think I'm on like season five. Uh, and so there's... I'm dividing my attentions. Um, and as I tell my daughter, you know, to do one thing, you have to give up something else. And so I am going to um, just chill and get some reading done and go from there. And I'll check in later. Hello everyone. It is Saturday night. Um, just after 9.30. Um, I have finished Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Um, this one... I really enjoyed the premise of this book. Um, I love that you know, those who kind of, um, that, that we, that Neil Gaiman played with that people falling through the cracks, um, concept and just made this under London, uh, and all the historical, um, kind of parts that he weaved into there. It was great. Um, I think for me, Personally, I'm going to have to take, when, when I think Neil Gaiman, I'm going to have to take Good Omens out of the picture. Um, I read Good Omens so a couple years ago now, I guess, and loved it. And ever since then, any Neil Gaiman book just doesn't measure up. Um... And I know Good Omens is Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. So that's probably some of the things that I'm picking up. Um, I haven't read any books just by Terry Pratchett. So maybe Terry Pratchett had more in the um, flow of the, the book than... Um, I realize or you know more of a hand more his influence is heavier than Neil Gaiman's that being said Neverwhere was a fun read I did enjoy it but I need to keep in mind that Neil Gaiman is going to be a slower read for me um and that's kind of where I was getting stuck. I've read this book. Um, I started I started it officially on Tuesday. Because um, I started with just the audio and then got lost. Um, so then I went back and started over from the beginning on Tuesday when I had the ebook. And so for me... It's kind of that weird mix. I know we started school this week. And so that took 
some of my time on Tuesday and Thursday that I normally would have read. So I'm trying to do this kind of balancing act and understand and being patient with myself on this reading. Um, but I had a great time with it and in the last 24 hours I read 45% of it. You okay pumpkin? Sorry, the cat almost fell off the table. Um, I read 45% of it today, actually. I was at 55% when I started this morning. So reading 45% in a day is really good. Um, but anyway, moving forward, um, I think my next book is going to be... Um, the shifter one that my sister recommended. Um, All right, so it's Wolf Gone Wild. Um, this is by Juliet Cross, and it's a story about a sh a werewolf who has been unable to shift for the last three months, um, and his wolf side is really um starting to to take over um and taunting him and so he goes to evie who is a witch to get her help on breaking this curse um and so um we have this um kind of i don't want to say it's necessarily enemies to lovers um because I don't know that um Mateo and Evie are necessarily enemies but their races are um one of the things it says in the description is Evie knows that she is supposed to stay away from wolves so I'm gonna start this um and go from there it should be a good uh, fun time. My sister said it was a cute, nerdy um, read. So, I'm going to jump into Wolf Goes Wild and I will check in in a little while. Hello everyone. So, it is um, Sunday afternoon. I am 22% in to um, oops, trying to pull it up Woo! Wolf Gone Wild um, by Juliet Cross. I'm really enjoying this. Um, so far we've met both of the main characters. Um, and everything kind of so far in the synopsis is already there. Um, so he's come to Evie. Uh, Mateo has come to Evie asking for help. She um, gets permission from her coven leader to help him um and his alpha kind of only goes quiet when she's around um the alpha is um his wolf and so we have this kind of setup um there's some like almost instant attraction going on here they both think the other is um attractive and so so far it's a great read i'm really enjoying it um and i'm gonna get back to reading uh, i've got about 20 minutes until dinner is done so i'm gonna use this time to get some reading done and then i have to take my daughter to youth group after um we eat so i'll check in later Hello everyone, so I am calling an apple an apple in this case. Um, I am in a reading slump. Um, even sitting here, I've been at work all day. It's Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday afternoon. Um, and I don't really want to read. Um... I honestly, after 
hours at work. I um, would rather sit and veg out. But I'm going to employ um, a method that I encourage my students to use when they don't want to do something. And that is to do it for just five minutes. Many times they get started for those five minutes and then keep going until it's done. So I am at 42%. Um, I'm still enjoying Wolf Go Gone Wild. Um, there's nothing wrong with the book. I just don't want to read. Um, so I'm going to read for five minutes. Um, dinner, I think the timer says 12 minutes. Dinner's going to be ready in 12 minutes. So I'm going to read for five minutes at least and then go from there. Um, and then try to see if I can break this, <sighs> break this slump. And if after I read those five minutes, I uh, still want to watch TV. Then I'll turn on the TV and watch TV. But I'm going to try this chapter and I'll go from there. I'll check in soon. Hello everyone. So I am 89% in Wolf Gone Wild. Um, today has been a day largely of time to read. Uh, I had a doctor's appointment this morning and she was running behind. Um, so that allowed me almost an hour of just non-stop reading time um and then now i'm like really really into the book i had to take a minute though because i think i know what's gonna happen next and my anxiety just went and took off um oh really you gonna pet the camera silly girl Ember's rubbing on it. Sorry for the movement. Um, so I just had to take a second to uh, get my heart rate back down. Um, but this book, it's pretty spicy. Um, and even the, my anxiety is not up because of the spicy parts. Um, there's more going on in this. Um, and so that part has me um, with a racing heart um but it is a great read so far so i'm gonna get back in and finish this um so that i can wrap up this vlog for you guys so i will talk to you soon hello everyone so i have officially finished um wolf gone wild um I definitely know why my sister suggested it to me. It's got a lot of nerdy moments in it. Um, our main character um, has aspirations <sighs> to be a comic book artist. She's in love with comic books. Um, and like she introduces Mateo to Star Wars and just all the Star Wars references in there. Um, along with just the wholesome nerdiness that is in there just really, really um, uh, shot this one off for me. I think I'm going to give this one five stars. I had so much fun especially there at the end um the there is one moment that everything kind of becomes clear of where the book is going um and becomes a little predictable in that moment but that moment comes just before um, the part that I predicted would happen, happened. Um, and I mean like two pages. So it wasn't, it wasn't something that really, um, 
detracted from the book. Um, and that was why I had the, the speedy heart moment. Um, and so, but it was great. <sighs> really loved it. Five stars. Um, not Stardust. Neverwhere. Also a great one for the month or for this week. Um, that one I'll probably give 4.5 stars. Not because, like, the writing is amazing. And I think if I had been in a different place, I probably would have given it five stars. Um, but I kind of was slumpy, and so I think I, I stuck with um, 4.5 stars on this one. I did have a great time with Neverwhere as well. Um, and I'm hoping that this kind of breaks my slump that I had from reading all that I did during the summer. Um, so I'm going to end this vlog here and, um, figure out what I'm going to read next. Uh, if you've made it this far and, you know, you don't know what to put in the chat or not feeling really chatty and you want to leave an emoji, uh, let's go with, like, something witchy, um, since I had so much fun with Wolf Gone Wild. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!